Là, c'est bon Oui, oui, c'est bon. Merci. When I started, it was about the photography, of course. That's the base of it. I mean, it was always about capturing images, documenting something. I don't know what it is. It's hard to describe. It's just like I'm excited. I'm excited about beauty. It's like a movie a little bit. It's like, I think that's kind of how it should be. It should kind of be distracting of day-to-day -day life in a way. And for me, I guess, what we're doing with the photography, what I'm doing with the photography, it's kind of like blowing it up a little bit and making it seem bigger and more glamorous maybe than it is. So, I wanted to show you my camera. I don't know if you can see, this fell off. <laughs> and this looks like this right now. I mean, it's beautiful outside, it's beautiful in Paris right now, but also all the photographers are here and sometimes it gets a little bit out of hand because there's also a lot of celebrities here. So you have these things, you have shows that are just super crowded and super crazy and you can hardly take any photos. You have to really, I mean, it's Chanel actually as well, you have to run to get a photo. It's not how I would like to photograph ideally, but it's kind of how it has become. It's quite sporty. But sometimes, there's almost this kind of transition where you feel like you're shooting a beautiful fashion editorial or even better actually. Sometimes you have these things that come together that would never come together this way because it's, it's like a, an amazing girl that wears, that mixes like a vintage piece with a new designer thing and she has, she just came out of a show and her makeup is super strong and then she's walking, she's crossing a Paris street. I don't know, there's just like props and action and there's like real emotion in the faces. And that's why it's still amazing. I mean, you're seeing these, these top, top models that, you, you know, you would actually hardly get for an editorial unless you're shooting for Vogue, um, you know. And so that's why, of course, if you happen to even just get a few seconds of Carly Klaas crossing the street, it's just, it's always going to be amazing. I think there's some special women in this business. I mean, with some of them, like Veronica now, I started having this relationship, and so that has become a really, really nice friendship. She's someone who's successful, but who's super nice. I'm very happy because I can photograph her for her new site, Hey Woman. We shoot on the road, we are very spontaneous, and uh, she has her own style going on. She's creating her own things, and I think that's what a real stylist does, and that's when it becomes interesting to photograph people. When they're influenced maybe by designers and runway and life, but not what other people are wearing. I think the one thing that kind of keeps you going as well season after season because in a way you could say that you've seen everything you know like certain things are repetitive but I think what drives you like what drives me is that you're kind of looking for something new always and there's I mean that's what it, what 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 fashion is about as well and like kind of what life is about that this kind of newness this desire for newness and uh, discovering you know like a new generation even of, of women coming out and, and of uh, clothes changing a little bit. So, I mean, I like to do, and I'm doing editorials and commercial work and portrait work outside of it, and I love that part as well. But with uh, street style, I would still, maybe not as intensely, but I would still, in a way, like to continue doing that because it keeps, you, it keeps me fresh in a way. I noticed that if I haven't been doing it for a month and a half and I get a little bit into this routine of like daily life, like somehow it kind of, it gives you this energy and it's excitement. It's nice to have both. I think it's it's it keeps you fresh doing both. <laughs> <laughs>